All right, so this problem we're going to look at an example using Simpson's rule. Uh, I'll have, I'll work two different examples with this. Uh, they'll each have their own video, so check them both out. Uh, one will be the problem we're working now. I think it's 1 over 1 plus x to the 6th. And then uh, the other example that I'll work will be sine x. So they'll each have their own video. All right, so let's look at Simpson's rule. So we've got the integral of f of x dx from a to b is equal to s sub n. Okay, so they'll give us n will be given. So it's delta x over 3 times f of x naught plus 4 f of x 1 plus 2, and that should be f of x 2 plus 4 f of x 3 all the way to f of x sub n. Now notice the first and last one is not multiplied by any number but after you get to the f after the first one you're multiplied by a 4 then a 2 and then it alternates 4 2 4 2 okay and delta x is b minus a over n all right, so let's go ahead and look at our example. But before we do, important thing here, n is gonna, has to be even, okay? n has to be even in order to use Simpson's rule. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our example here. All right, so we've got the integral of 1 over 1 plus x cubed from 0 to 2 and n is equal to 6. All right, so first thing that we're going to need to find is we're going to need to find delta x. So I've got delta x is equal to, remember, b minus a, which is 2 minus 0 over n, okay, and so this is going to give us 1 third. Okay, so let's go ahead and use Simpson's rule. So I've got s sub 6 equals, okay, so Simpson's rule is what? Delta x Oh, I'm sorry, delta x, which is one-third, over three, okay, times f of x naught. So f of x naught is, the x naught is zero. That's the one we start out with. And then what happens is, okay, we start out with this one, and then see what delta x does, that tells us, okay, we're going to go up in increments of one-third. So we just keep adding one-third until we get to our last one. Okay, so that's going to be plus, now remember, that's four times f of one-third plus two times f of, now, I'm going to, and remember Simpson's rule alternates 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, 2. All right, so f of, I'm going to add one third to this, so that's going to be what? Two thirds, and then plus 4 times f of, and then I add one third to this, well that's going to be what? 3 over 3, so that's just f of 1, plus, 2 times f of, all right, so add one third to that. Well, remember, 1 is 3 over 3, so that would be what? 4 thirds plus 4 times f of, and then add one third to that. That would be 5 thirds, and then plus, now let's see, is that going to be 2 times? Well, let's just write the 2 down. And that's going to be 2 times f of, and then 1 third plus that, that's going to be what, 6 over 3, which is 2. 
So you can see we're here to the last one, so we know there's not going to be a 2 in front there. That's just going to be f of 2. All right, so now this is going to be what? That's 1 ninth right here times, all right, now what I'm going to do here is we've got, we, we actually have to evaluate all of this stuff. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll plug this one in, the f of 0 and the f of 1 third, and then I'm just going to write the other answers down. Okay, all right, so if we come up here and we do f of 0, that's going to be 1 over 1 plus 0 to the 6, which that's easy enough, that's just 1. Okay, and then if I do f of one third, that's going to be what? One over one plus whoop, one plus one third to the sixth, which that's going to be one over one plus, and let's see, what is three to the sixth? is 729 so that would be 1 over 729 and then remember how to simplify this you can look at each of these terms as a fraction multiply each of them by 729 and that will give us uh, 729 over and that's going to be 729 plus 1 which is 730. So this would be 729 over 730. All right. And I'll just write the other ones down. I'll pause the video while I'm doing it. All right. So I've got those written down. And I know I had 729 over 730. But you see this? Remember, you got to multiply that by four. So the seven, the seven twenty nine over seven thirty, and then multiply that times four. So that's what you would get there. And then, you know, obviously you probably you have to put that in your calculator, and so your answer would be one point zero, and I'll well zero three six five five two six six four. All right. So, hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.